I've taken the liberty of assigning a lot of inserts to my different tracks, but we still have separate audio tracks for every single bit of audio. And other than that one example where we bounce down the MIDI track of the organ, we really haven't dealt with anything but audio tracks. When you're working with a mix, it's very useful to group your tracks together so that you can manipulate the audio in one place instead of on individual tracks. Now we already have groups over here, drums, percussion, and so forth, but that doesn't really do what I want because if I need to add, let's say, an effect to my drums, I don't want to have to add it on every single drum track. I'd like to add it on one master drum track. And that's why we have buses. Buses allow us to group tracks together so we can manipulate the audio in one place. A bus is just a virtual output. It's an output that only exists in memory and you can't hear the bus. You have to send the output of a bus to a physical output. Let me show you what I mean. I have five different acoustic guitar tracks here and I'm going to take the first one and instead of sending it to my main stereo output, I'm going to send it to a bus. Now there are some buses already listed here, but I don't want to use one of those. I'm just going to create new track, and this will be an aux input, and we're going to call it acoustic guitars. What happened? Well, the acoustic guitar track is now being sent to a bus called acoustic guitars. And Pro Tools created a second track. It's an aux track, we can tell from this arrow here. And the aux track is getting its input from the acoustic guitars bus and sending its output to the main stereo outputs. So if I solo my acoustic guitar and solo my bus, we can see the output of this is going to the bus. If I unsolo the bus, I don't hear the guitar. It's going to the bus, but I'm not hearing the bus. Likewise, if I solo the bus and not the acoustic guitar, there's nothing coming to the bus, so I don't hear anything there either. I need to solo both. So let's now assign these other acoustic guitars to that same bus. I'm going to shift click to select the four remaining acoustic guitars. And then shift option is what I use when I want to operate on just the selected tracks. And I will go to my output and I'll go to the bus area and choose acoustic guitars. And now you can see one, two, three, four, five acoustic guitar tracks. Let me move this over to the right. They're all being sent to this acoustic guitar bus. So I can control them all together. Of course, I can add an effect, let's say an EQ. And now that EQ, instead of having to be added on every single acoustic guitar track, I just add it on my guitar bus. We can easily rename a bus. I just right click on any one of the inputs or outputs where that bus is listed and choose rename. And I can call this, let's say, just acoustic guitar. And all of them will automatically rename. I can also send buses to other buses. So let's take these electric guitar tracks and create a new track. We'll call this electric guitars. And there it is. I shift optioned when I created that. So all four electric guitar parts are all being sent to this one bus. And that bus is being sent to the stereo outputs. And there's no reason I can't combine this bus and this bus and send it to another bus. Let's go ahead and shift option here, choose new track, we'll call it guitar bus. And now 
There's my guitar bus. And let's move the acoustic guitar bus down here so we can see the acoustic guitars and the electric guitars and the guitar bus. And let's assign the electric guitars here to that same guitar bus. And now I'm controlling all guitars on a single bus. We'll learn some more about buses in the next video.